You're now live on the hot seat with your boy Mo Hustle, and I got a special guest in the building. Quiet Storm Lyrical Poet in here, man. That's right, that's right, man. We had to get you up in here. You know, starting out this podcast, we wanted to reach out to some of the family, you know, before we reach out to anyone else. So that's why we got you in here. You're actually the third person to come in. Yeah, that's what's up. You know what I mean? There are times of charm. That's you what know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, man. So, uh, so what's been up with you? Man, really ducking this COVID, uh, staying out the way, man. Just blessed, bro. Living, we we here for twenty twenty two. Yeah. So that's a good thing, man. So I just been chilling, man. Working, staying out the way, man. Staying in my lane. That's about it. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Cause everybody been talking about COVID out of nowhere. Like, what the fuck? It's really coming back like yeah. that. Yeah. And I don't think it's that other. Sh- Strain of shit, whatever the hell it is. Omicron, Omicron, whatever it is. Yeah, they say, what, what they say, Omarion. Yeah, Omarion. Yeah. <laughs> they trying to mess that man name up, man. That's yeah. tough. You don't want that on you. You don't want that on your name. Nah, no. Yeah, man, why they trying to do that man like that, man? <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that shit been coming back. I've been like left and right. I'm trying to dodge it myself because I had it one time. I'm like, I hope I don't get that shit twice. You yeah. think they can get it twice or what? Man, I shit, my uncle had it twice. No shit. So yeah, he had it twice. He caught it the first time, and they didn't know what it was, and he was down bad. Like I'm taking him breathe and shit. Yeah, he was just sleep, just tired. And then I know a couple of people that had it, man. They said it was it was when they get to that respiratory infection, it get real bad. Mm. But I've been ducking it. Ain't no telling. We probably all didn't had it, bro. Shit, I couldn't even you know, breathe, just, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Like I thought I was gonna die one time. I told my homeboy J Mug in Dallas. I say, hey. Come check up on me in the morning, make sure I'm still alive, because yeah. I'm barely breathing. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah. but yeah, man, as far as this music goes, for those that don't know you, mm. um, let's get a little bit of history. So, like, when did you start rapping, or what made you even want to rap? <laughs> uh, Slick Rick made me want to rap, listening mm. to, uh, I think it was the story, the storytelling song. Mm. Uh, the child story, children's story. One yeah, day. that's I, my shit right there. Yeah, I heard the beat, the cadence, and... And I just sat back and was like, man, I want to know how you came up with them words and all this. So I just started writing his lyrics down and figuring it out. And it just came to me like, yeah, right. I think I just want to write to have fun and see what I can do with it. And so yeah. and so and so about how old do you think you was about that time? Uh, Honestly, I was probably about, about 12, probably 12. about 12. Yeah. Man, so at 12 years old. What was your first rap names? My first rap name, uh, I used to go by Baby J, man. Baby J, the <laughs> yeah, Baby J on the block. I used to go by Baby J, then I went to Liquid Black. This, what I, is yeah. that, like an elementary school or middle school? Uh, this was like middle school, yeah, middle school. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then got to high school, and throughout college, Quiet Storm was bred. So it's Quiet been Storm, that since. okay. Quiet Storm, that's pretty good. So so let's let's elaborate on that name. <laughs> Quiet Storm. What made you choose this name? Uh, probably just because of my 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 character and how I present myself to situations and people, and how I come off. I'm quiet. I'm cool. I'm collective. I don't do too much to cause. Like something too much pisses on. you off, and you just stay quiet. Yeah. Like or even if it ain't even got to just piss me off. It's like once you reach that brink, it could be competition wise. It can even be on the mic. Right. It could be writing. Once I tap into that zone, it's right. it's. It's flush time, so quiet storm coming, and I'm gonna walk off real quiet. It's gonna be disaster left, right. debris left, but you ain't gonna know how it hit you, how it came. It's just, and I'm out. <laughs> All right, so, so where does the ly- the lyrical poet come in at? Uh, storytelling, basically, like I say, from Slick Rick or just stuff that I listen to, stuff we go through throughout life, just my vent. You know what I'm saying? So the lyrical part of it and the poetry part of it is just me venting. On an instrumental beat, man. That's it. Just so like, like when you first started, you know, Baby J around that time, you know, middle school. <laughs> did you did you like freestyle first, or did you just like, like, nah, man, I want to story tell right off the back. That's my shit. Uh, or, or did you write poetry first? I, some I, people wrote poetry first. I don't. I mean, I I think all of it is poetry. Yeah. I think I put the stamp on it as far as calling it poetry music later mm-hmm. on, okay. as I figured out what I wanted to do with it. But at first. I think it was probably freestyle, yeah. but I know I've been writing. I just been writing, and I just mm-hmm. write, and I try to take my lyrics and put it to a beat that I think it'll make it'll. It, some some got to pop, some got to work. So I just tried. So I think I just been writing. I'm not a, a big freestyler unless I'm just happy and 
and we live and we turned up having fun. But if I need to tap into some, about twenty five minutes, thirty minutes, oh, we, we good oh. to go. So, do you have anybody in your family else that that done music? Uh, that has done music. Yeah. Uh, Uncles, aunts, mother, dad, anybody? Immediate family, no. Uh, outside of that, yeah, I got a few people. Uh, shout out to my boy Papa Smurf. Okay. Uh, my boy Boney Scrone. Uh, couple of more people. Um, outside of that, uh, no, nah, I think I'm the first. Right, right. Got some talent in the family. Uh, right, right. My mama can sing. She, I don't think she know it. But oh, she yeah, sing. yeah. She Not in. publicly, but privately, yeah. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, nah, I think I'm the first one to just take this type of leap. Right. That's dope. Okay, so you got an album out? I do. About how many albums you got out? I got uh, three out digitally. Three albums. When did you drop your first one? 2000. My first one, I want to say like 2012, maybe 2013. Right. So how did you feel when you dropped that? I felt good about it. Uh, I wrote it. It was just coming out, uh, just me coming out. Not not really in no competition. But and, just, and that was a time about, you know, where everybody was pushing CDs and stuff like that, right? was a time when everybody was pushing CDs. Uh, yeah, I just wrote it, came out, found my fans distributed it uh, that way and uh, just really came out with, with me having confidence and knowing that I put together a project right. and some people actually want to listen to it. So let me see what I can do, get the feedback and analyze it and come back with some more. So, Did you ever take it on the road yet or anything like uh, that? That one, though, that one, nah. Not yet, not, not yet. That one, nah. If you were to go on the road, where would you like to go? <laughs> I've been to Atlanta. So okay. I definitely want to go back to Atlanta and do some more music. Uh, so, so you went to Atlanta and did some music? I have, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. During the just like COVID season and all that, I did a little traveling, did uh, okay. music here and there. Man, traveled first time in Atlanta. It was it was good. Like, it was so fun. so when you traveled out there, did you already know somebody out there that you was working with, or you like research? Uh, like, man, I'm gonna get in the studio in Atlanta. To be honest with you, I'm one of those like an improv on the spot type situation person. So. I went out there with a group, so we had a setting and a situation already. Mm -hmm. But as far as me knowing anybody and coming out there off the whim, nah, I didn't know nobody. But right. I left knowing a bunch of people. Right. So, yeah, right. that's the good thing. That, that was. No, that's good. As long positive. as you do your network, you know. Just, some people don't know, man. It costs to get out there. Yeah, it do. Yeah, it so, do. Yeah, so, it do. so you gotta make it count if you're going way the fuck out there. Yeah, you got you know to. Me? So, got to come back with results, and then list. Right, right. <laughs> okay. So then you dropped the second one. Was the feeling different on the second one? or the what, feeling, what was the, the feeling from the first one to the second one was different, but it was in the same category. I called the first one Killing Seasons 1 and Season 2. Okay. So it was more hard lyrics, hard bars, a uh, couple of tracks for the women, but for the most part it was all just hard gutter. I'm right. giving it to you raw. We can fight after this. I don't what do, what do you think was the best song that we, that, that they could re, the, the listeners can research uh, right now from that second album? From that second album, the hottest joint. Give them the hottest joint. The hottest joint. Uh, man, that's tough. Cause I didn't put it out on anything but the CD. Oh, okay. but I got something that uh I I made after that. I made right. compilations after that called Handwritten Expressions Volume One and Two. That's on SoundCloud, Spotify. Right. I'll let um but you know we need to we need to go back and, and upload that history. Yeah, I'm trying to figure you know out a way I mean? to do that. I'm trying to figure out a way to get them uh some of my tracks uh downloaded from SoundCloud cuz they own SoundCloud some of them. Not the whole CD but some yeah. of them are. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get that off where I can right. redo that and yeah, I got to re upload that. <laughs> That's dope, man. That's dope. Okay, for all the listeners, where can they find you at on social media yeah. and stuff? Social media, you can find me at uh, Quiet Storm, one word, underscore poetry, underscore music, M-U-Z-I-K. Uh, on anything you listen to from uh, Tidal, Spotify, Amazon Music, type in Quiet Storm, one word, lyrical poet. I'll pop up, find you a song, put it on repeat, man, tell your friends about me. <laughs> mm, that's what's up. And uh, I'll vouch for him, man. You, you, you know, you guys need to go check him out. Um, you know, I seen the man in action. You know, he lives up to that lyrical 
the lyrical poet, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, yeah. So so do you smoke? I do. What, you smoke that herb? I do. Yeah, you oh, know shit. you gotta have a good marriage of one for you, okay, okay. your system and your cerebral. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you been out to Colorado or California Man, anything like that yet? I've been to Colorado two or three times. I love it. That's like. I what went, all did you do when you went? Uh, I went skiing, man. I did. Well, I didn't go actual skiing, but I went up the slope on the. Uh, okay, so on how the did you ride. go up the slope? Like, we was on the little on the little ride on the, on the trolley. Yeah, we went yeah. on the trolley, man. We went all the way up on the trolley. Yeah. It was cool. Thirteen thousand plus up. No, the air is thin up there, man. But did you I, like? I don't think I'll ski because that's a long way down, bro. That's a long. <laughs> now I was about to say down, you went skiing, bro. damn, bro. You ain't break no leg. And that's a long way down, bro. I, don't know. I did the um the tubing though. We did the tubing. Oh, oh, uh, water rafting. Nah, just nah, tubing. just the snow, like the snow red tubing was cool, like that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's Me and Rashid, good. man, he came out there, man, and we went and uh. Rashid and my cousin from Chicago came out, and uh, we went water ra- white white water raft, yeah, and I think that's different. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> she was crazy than a motherfucker. <laughs> we was sitting there fucking. That shit. Was, you flip, man. What if you flip uh, over? You got. Hey, y'all was ready. Hey, hey, we was ready. Nah, I don't want we was ready for it, dog. <laughs> but yeah, that's some crazy shit. Yeah, man. But Colorado, cool. Like it's it's. I I I'll say to anybody if you want to just go out there and just relax. Man, go out there. Take your family out there. Yeah, yeah. Get out the hood get for out a little hood, bit. Man, just just really you know? get away from everything, man. Break the atmosphere. You know, that's some 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 school. people never leave the hood, man. They don't, it's crazy. Man. They think it's that and that's it. And some people mental minds only go that far. So you can't them the ones that you want to take with you, but it's like, ah, you'll be all right, man. I, I took some people from Colorado uh years ago. Got them out the hood and they was excited like a motherfucker. They was calling the grand grandma, grandma. <laughs> That's a good feeling, man. I'm in the mountains. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's a good feeling, man. <laughs> yeah. Feeling. But uh, but yeah, that's what's up. So you hit a few dispensaries and shit while you was out there? It or? always hit it, man. I hit the, uh, I think it's one called the Green Dragon. The Green Dragon. Yeah, and it's a couple of mo, man. I'm in and out of there. Uh. Go in there, get your basket, get your bag. Walk around and do your thing, man. So. You try some dabs out there, too, or you just hit the- I ain't really try to dab. I did the crumble, okay. though. Crumble. You know, so okay, I get okay. the crumble. I ain't really dig into the dab. Right, right. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I did it before. You know what I'm saying? Get that, get that, that boosy high. Get the choking on you like that and spitting. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's cool though, man. It's cool. That's what's up, man. So, um, so what is your new single you got for the third album that you got out right now? And what is the title to your third album? Uh, third album title is actually a uh, handwritten expressions volume three. Um. Single I got out um, right now. I'm running. I'm running like two or three singles, but for the most part, the ones I'm pushing is a uh, one called Sweet Serenade, and another one called A Lot of Thoughts. Uh, just finished up the video today, waiting on that to drop. Coming through with that, give everybody some good visuals. Sweet Serenade gonna come through with the visual around Valentine's Day. We are gonna bang y'all heads with that and give y'all a good look. See. <laughs> All right, so, so I like to ask this too, man. Is uh. So this is a little question I like to ask is, uh, so what do you do as far as income to take care of yourself besides the music? Besides, because you gotta fund the dream, you know. Yeah, what I'm you gotta fund it, man. The dream costs. The dream is oh, not yeah. free. Uh, I'm a barber, bro. A barber. Uh, I cut hair. Uh, I'm official with it. Right. Um, and on the side, man, little side hustles. You know what I'm saying? Got my, I do a little door dashing myself. You know what I'm saying? Keep all, keep keep the residuals coming in. But how much you hitting for, man? I see people charging a hundred dollars these days. Man, nah, I ain't gonna, I'm a, I'm a people person, man. I'm a reasonable huh. person, man. Huh. Uh, I do mobile, so if I pull up on you, I'm gonna charge you by fifty or sixty, bro. I ain't gonna okay. tax you. Okay. But grown men, man, you can come pay your thirty dollars, get your haircut, get your beard shaved. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Kids, I charge fifteen, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Every, all the adults in between that. 2025, you know what I'm saying? You tip that's me love, off, off the look, you know what I'm saying? I take tips too. <laughs> but for the most part, man, I don't try to crack nobody across the head, man. I know how it is, but right. pay for your work, you pay for your conveniency, right. and you pay for what you're getting out the chip, man. So, so it is what it is. All right, that's what's up, man. Well, shit, everybody got to hustle. You got to get it every which way. I just left the damn flea market right now. Yeah, yeah. I've been out yeah. there since like six in the morning. I'm tired as hell. That's why they call you Mo Hustle. You know, I'm baby. steady moving. Mo you know Hustle, I mean? baby. We hustling, baby. Hustle. <laughs> hustle, hustle. <laughs> hey, somebody wanted some work done tonight. I said, man, look, you got to hit me Monday because 
I got the whole weekend booked up from 6 all the way to 10 at night. It's a good thing to be booked up. Man. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You can sleep when you need to sleep. Man, sleep I'm tired up. right now. I'm about yeah. to go to sleep right now. Yeah. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Get you, hit you some of that Mexican pineapple <clears throat> right there. You're going to be good. And smoke your nice joint and then wake <laughs> you right back up. Get you some good sativa. You'll you be know what good. I'm You'll be good to go. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy, man. So, um, was it rough growing up for you? Was it rough? Yeah. You know, some people go through the real struggle. I I mean, Some people it got it okay, kind of evened out, you know. Yeah. It wasn't boys in the hood. I mean, it's just society rough. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't rough like that. But as far as the streets, yeah, the streets was there. Yeah. I mean, I can say it, yeah, it was a single-parent household, but I don't want to be that guy. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. Hell, I had OGs, older right, people yeah. that was on the block. So it was a, you know what I'm saying, the community. So what side of town you from? Acres home, man. Acres you know home. Acres home. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I, I had my times in the Acres home. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, Olive View and Tidwell and fucking mm -hmm. Antoine Soto, Antoine, and yeah. Soto. <laughs> huh? Man, all over the... Yes, sir. Man. <laughs> in and out of Shrimp Island. And, oh, yeah, the Shrimp Island, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chicken Chung, the Pee Wees, the... Man. Everything, man, yeah. Metro yeah. Mart. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. So who who do you um think had good music that came up from the hood that, that you actually like from that hood from Acres Home? Uh, I know there's a few of them. Slim, yeah, Slim, Slim. You know, Slim gonna be the, the first. Yeah, for you sure. know, Slim. Uh, yeah. Paul Wall, them, uh, yeah. Million. I mean, Chameleon. There. Uh, mm -hmm. Who else we got from the north? Uh, <sighs> let me think. Man, there was so many. It's a lot. Uh, I, I know besides, well, you know, there, there's a lot of them, you know, from the north side. You got J-Dog. J-Dog, J-Dog hard than the J-Dog hard, hard. Mm -hmm. uh, I fuck with J-Dog. Shit, from the north, it's so um, Big Tony. Yeah, Big Tony, nice. Uh, OTB, Fast OTB, Lane. You got OTB. Um, yeah. You got my boy, uh, man. Man, what's my boy name, man? What's my boy name, man? Little Santana, man. Mm. R.I.P. to my boy Santana, man. Acres home, sure. uh, you got him. Uh, yeah, you got me. Shit. Yeah, yeah. And he got me. <laughs> and he got you me. Go. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna name it without me. You know what I'm saying? Sure, so, man. yeah. So for the ladies watching, you you a single man or you taking? Uh, nah, baby at the highs. Probably baby at the right highs, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give a shout out, man. Shout out shout to baby, out baby, man. man. What what's happening? <laughs> huh. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> All right. You know, you got to have a little foundation. Yeah, I haven't man. found me one yet, but you know. Yeah, yeah, sooner or later, it'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Sooner or later. I I'm will tired of trying, though. I ain't going to lie. Like, yeah, damn. Man, get your bag, bro. Get yeah, your bag. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I'm, I'm good. Get I mean, because, yeah, yeah, because, <laughs> you know, the ones that be in a relationship, they be stressed out like a motherfucker half the time. Yeah. Sometimes you, you find a cool ass relationship. Between people where you like, oh, they cool and the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. They get along well. As long you know? as you communicate right, man, you make your you make it work however you make it work. You know what? I Today at the flea market, bro. It was this it was this white dude with this uh black chick and they was like, We've been together since we was fourteen. I said, Damn, that's a long time. I said, What's the key? And that's what he said. She said it. Yeah. She said, Communication. Yeah, you that's the first talk. things he said. You gotta talk and knock the line in oh, the baby. Oh. Ear, 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 hold up, hold up. Two, but you know what? The, sometimes sit down, man. You know what the dude up. said though? Shit. And you gotta give her your paycheck. He said. Mm. I said, ah, oh, she gonna pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, and shop like a hey, motherfucker. And shop. <laughs> if she pay the bills on time. Yeah. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. But anyway, yeah, that's what's up. So what's new for, what was new in the plans for 2022, man? Shit, consistency, bro. That's it. Yeah. Consistency, bro. You got some I ever plans? Start, you got some... I ever start, rock out 12 months. Well, I mean, we here. Shit, rock out. Right now, months. at the beginning of the year, we kicking it off, shit. Rock out for 12 months. Fuck it. Straight Don't up on the hot about... seat right <laughs> after New Year. <laughs> Don't even think about it. If something popping, shit, make it work. Find the time to find a passion for it, bro. Fuck it. How was your New Year's, by the way? Oh, uh, it was good, man. I ain't really do too much. I ain't go outside, uh, watch yeah. the fireworks, 
go down for about 40 minutes straight at 12, oh, but I was just sitting back, had my own fireworks going. Man, I was riding Chilling. around all over H-Town and shit was crazy as hell. Yeah. And uh, all fucking day to try to get ready for this flea market shit. All fucking day, bro. Like, man, all over Houston. And then I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, it's about to be motherfucking midnight. I'm running around all day. Man, I'm tired. And then I and then I got to wake up at 6 in the morning. So I'm like, man. First, I was like, I'm just going to go to bed. Then motherfuckers were just constantly blowing shit up. I said, man, fuck it. 12 o'clock hit. I was talking to Boney last night. Yeah. About 12 o'clock. He goes, damn, man, they blowing shit up. It must be midnight. I said, man, let me go outside. I walk outside. I said, yeah, they blowing this shit up. <laughs> hey, I just go to the middle of the street and just watch all the fireworks yeah, for a little while. sit there. I'm gonna light the sky up like a motherfucker. And I said, all right, I'm done. I got to go to bed, man. <laughs> I got work to, you know, yeah. I got to get this money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got to get to the bag. Yeah. Most people spend the bag and most people get to the bag. Was, yeah. <laughs> they yeah. blow the bag. So talking about that, you know, you into any kind of stocks or any kind of NFTs, any kind of anything, any kind of investments for the future? Nah, I'm doing my research on it, though. I'm oh. definitely going to tap in on it. Uh, I haven't looked at, like, the NFTs. I've been seeing it. I've yeah. been seeing the growth from it, but... Besides that, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to invest in some stocks. Cryptocurrencies, anything crypto, like that? I'm going to definitely tap into crypto, mm-hmm. uh, the Bitcoin, whatever the new wave is. Yeah. You know, they trying to dial stuff down and Something, make, man, like, make it whatever they want to make it, this new new world order, whatever they supposed to be doing. But right. for the most part, as long as you tap into something, man, you got a little piece of something in, into everything, and you smart with it, man, you don't fuck it up. Hey, some of us ain't got no retirement way, funds, so we got to set our own shit. Yeah, got to set your own shit. Then you're going to be old than a motherfucker. Like, man, bro, I know old motherfuckers right now that they probably get four or $500, or what is it, like $800 or something a month? I think that's what it is. Depending on how, how you know, if someone worked forever, they probably get $800 a month. They don't even pay the rent, bro. Yeah, you know, they're going to crack you back till you're 65. And, so and by the time we get old, bro, the rent gonna be even higher than what it is now. That's why the entrepreneurial hustle is a motherfucker right now. Yeah. I'm telling you, see, he got four one k, ain't got no damn four. Yeah, no four one k for a hustler. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man, we out here day, we day for day. Damn, <laughs> day for day. But we take that risk. But at the end of the day, you gotta be careful. Yeah. And and be kind of a minimalist until you get there. You know, be light on spending and. and Saving, they, they say when you when you save and you put it in a bank account, you really don't get shit. You know what I'm saying? So my advice is, you know, uh, money likes to be moved around. You know what I'm saying? So if you got the money in your pocket, it's going to go. Like, it might go on bullshit. It might go on a bunch of bills, a bunch of bullshit, whatever it is. But my advice is, while you have it, throw it immediately into an investment. Yeah, some some kind of fucking back. investment. Yeah. Rooted in some kind of because it's gonna be gone. You are gonna spend it anyway. You know? So rooted in some kind of purpose and make so sure that way it can double money. up or exactly. triple up or whatever it is. Exactly, bro. And keep exactly. that shit going. Exactly. You know? But yeah, man. You know it was good to have you out here, man. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna go on here and put you on the spot, man, because you know I I really don't like to do this, man, but you know I do like to do it because I want to hear some shit. <laughs> so man, you know, without a beat, any like that, you know, I like to put people on spot. Cause I used to take people on the road, man, and I'd be like, man, give them that shit. And motherfuckers used to wreck that shit. Yeah. So if I if I hit you up and say, you know, in the middle of nowhere, we in the middle of nowhere with some strangers, and I say, man, hit that shit for them one time. <laughs> Let me hear what you got for them, man. Uh, I knew you. Was, I had a feeling you was gonna do this shit. You no. Know uh, shit. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Like you, you gotta make them fans. You gotta make them believers. Make them believers of what I got. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Well, obviously, execution was the only prophecy. My termination contradicted faith for my philosophy. Supposedly, they said my obligations was controlling me. I dictated through fashion in their face. Ain't no controlling me. Degenerate. I'm young, wild, running around. Ain't no enemy defending me. A calm, cool gentleman. They call me Penniman, Jaquinjamin. I'm chocolate Nutella mixed with some cinnamon. Your <laughs> <laughs> boy starts spinning. Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, 
shit. All right, man, that's what's up, man. That's a little couple of bars for y'all, yeah, I'll give y'all a couple of bars, man. I ain't gonna give you yeah. yeah, you can't give them the whole album, man. They gotta go the research album. that. I can't give y'all too much for, <laughs> for whatever it is, man. I got you got any clothing line or anything like that coming out? Uh, merchandise man, or anything? Just some more merch, man. Poetry, music, merch, man. Uh, Separate Yourself Inside Yourself merch coming soon, man. So, so. yeah, that's about it. Before we head out, man, you want to give any shout-outs out there or anything like that? Uh man, shout out to y'all. Shit for having me coming through. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Uh shout out to man, shout out to everybody doing their thing, bro. It's tough out here. Uh mm -hmm. I ain't got no specific pinpointers to nobody, man. It's just mm -hmm. one hundred from me to you, man. Do your thing, get up every day, face the bullshit, disclose the bullshit, man, and keep on trucking, bro. That's what I got, dog. That's it. Drop that YouTube channel so they go and subscribe Quiet Storm, to you. Quiet Storm Lyrical Poet, man. Tap in, man. YouTube, tap in. Type that in. Pull me up everywhere, bro. I let you. So, once again, man, I appreciate you for coming yeah, through, no man. Doubt, Mo. Yes, sir. You know, we definitely going to get an update during the year because it's just the beginning. Oh, yeah. You know, we just getting started. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? And it's going down 12 months. Consistency, man. Make yeah, it yeah. And there you go. You have it right here on the high seat. It's your boy, Mo Hustle. Catch me on that Instagram hmm. at the real Mo Hustle. Facebook fan page, Mo Hustle. That's M O Hustle for y'all that don't know. And you can check me out on my official page, you know, my personal page if you want to. Manuel Rodriguez on Facebook. Yeah. And we out this joint. Oh, and we can't forget, I got to go check out that Mexican pineapple if you ain't tried it yet. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. Yes, sir. Much love. Hmm.